This video will outline all the new features available on the 7S display. On the top left hand side of the console, the 5 way UI control allows you to move the cursor, navigate screens, pan and focus navigation maps, and cycle gauges and info screens. Underneath the 5 way UI control is the back button which not only backs users out of menus, but also cycles all screens, including gauges. There are also three buttons on the right-hand side of the screen. The top and bottom buttons are directional arrows that allow zooming in and out of the navigation map, as well as scrolling through lists of features and menus. The Polaris button, which is located between the directional arrows, opens and closes the badge panel. It also disables and re-enables the touch function of the touch screen when held down for two seconds. In addition to the buttons on the screen, there are three additional left-hand controls, including the up and down arrows, which allow you to navigate the features and menus. Holding the select button between these arrows opens the badge panel and allows you to select different options. There is another back button here as well, which allows the user to back out of the menus and cycle screens. The top bar of the display will show your phone connection, current cell signal strength, headset connection, current fuel capacity percentage, vehicle direction, and the current time. At the top center of the touchscreen is another Polaris button. Pressing this brings up the badge panel. Pressing the Polaris button again will close the panel. Opening up the badge panel, you'll notice easy access to frequently used features, including a map, music controls, current ride, rides and waypoints, imports and export settings, notifications, and phone controls, including recent calls, contacts, keypad, messages, and a list of connected devices. Other features include the controls tab, where you can change the display mode, set display brightness, activate the heated grips, change the fuel type, check your GPS status, check your diagnostics, and more. To disable the touch function of the screen, press and hold the Polaris button for two seconds. A red hand icon will appear in the status bar at the top of the screen to indicate that the touch function has been disabled. To re-enable the touch function, hold down the Polaris button again for two seconds. For more advanced settings, open the badge panel and select all settings in the lower right hand corner of the display. Here you can select a few different tabs. The Info tab allows you to view vehicle info, including the VIN, software number, total miles driven, and engine hours. The General tab allows you to set up your Ride Command account, manage Bluetooth devices, change languages, speed units and temperature units, Access system information, update software, and update your trails and maps. Tapping the time icon allows you to set your time automatically by using the GPS, select your time zone, and change your clock format. Disabling the automatic time function allows you to manually set the time and date. Selecting the Vehicle tab allows you to view diagnostics, change the settings for your heated grips, check GPS status, and change your fuel type. Moving to the Gauge screen, you'll find a customizable view of vehicle information, including speed, RPM, fuel level, elevation, engine temperature, engine hours, trip meter, battery voltage, and a compass. On the gauge screen in the bottom right hand corner, pressing the gear icon will allow you to select the gauge layout and data values to display on each gauge screen. You can delete and add up to four customized gauge screens to fit your desired layout. 
To do this, begin by selecting a gauge layout on the left panel from the three provided options. Then select the data panel to choose up to five widgets to display on the screen. The widgets can be reordered by pressing and holding down on the widget and moving to your desired position. Once you're finished, push the green check mark to finalize your settings. Once you have selected a gauge, you can toggle between analog and digital settings. Matrix models are equipped with three individual smart warmer heated grips. These are located on the left and right hand grips, as well as in the throttle lever. The warmers automatically adjust in response to ambient temperature and wind chill to always maintain the preset grip temperature. There are four heat settings, low, medium, high, and off. In this menu, you can customize the heat settings for the hand grips and the thumb grip. Use the plus and minus buttons beside each heat level to choose your preferred setting. The heated grips can be turned on and off using two methods, the controls located in the badge panel and with the button on the left hand controls on your handlebar. To pair a Bluetooth device, navigate to the badge panel and select the phone icon. Turn on your device's Bluetooth setting and ensure it's in pairing mode. Once your device appears on the vehicle display, select your desired device and ensure the same number that appears on your device appears on the vehicle display. Then select OK to confirm your device. You can also pair a device by opening the badge panel and selecting the All Settings button. From here, choose the General tab and then select the Bluetooth Devices panel. Press the Add Device button in the upper right hand corner and select your device once it appears. Again, ensure numbers match on both devices and select OK to confirm your selection. To disconnect a device, navigate to the Bluetooth device panel and select the Disconnect button on the right side of the screen that corresponds to the device you want to disconnect. To remove a device completely from the vehicle, press the three vertical dots on the right side of the screen. Press Forget and confirm your choice to remove the device. Once a phone is paired, calls and messages will appear on the gauge screen. Music controls can also be used by selecting the music icon in the badge panel. Here you can pause and play music, skip forward and back, and raise, lower, and mute the volume. For more information, see your authorized Polaris dealer or visit Polaris.com. <laughs>